years ago, the EVC CEO of the National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure, NASENI, Mr. Khalil Suleiman Halilu, launched NASENI's strategic document called the Launchpad. This was a bold shift aimed at moving NASENI from a research-oriented agency to a technology transfer, innovation, and commercialization powerhouse. The implementation of the Launchpad was driven on three principles of collaboration, creation, and commercialization. From the beginning, our task was clear. Reform, not for its own sake, but reform that makes Nigeria strong. That is why we transform policy documents into living maps, guiding Nigeria into a new age of self-reliance, sustainability, and global competitiveness. This is the true spirit of Renew Hope Agenda, turning vision into action and action into lasting progress for our nation. With determination in just two years, government policies have transformed into action, with Naseni delivering over 40 commercial products and about 50 projects, including having critical links with the desire to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, across Nigeria's key sectors like agriculture and food security, transportation for clean mobility, health sector and biotechnology, renewable energy, defense and aerospace, engineering and manufacturing, IT and software, construction in smart cities. Naseni has also broken the glass ceiling by embarking on projects and initiatives geared towards bridging gender gap in drone technology through the NASCAF SheFly projects and the Delta One and Two initiatives aimed at empowering women in science, technology, engineering and mathematics STEM and fostering inclusive innovations. Under the Maiden Delta One initiative, six female finalists emerged to clinch 70.5 million Naira grants for their startups, while the Delta II Second Edition Award Ceremony was recently launched with about 290 million Naira handed down to new set of awardees. These successes were possible due to the strategic collaborations with local and international partners. Kabatin's partnership with Naseni has been remarkable from the start. Um, we've been driving innovation and uh, growing the tech system, uh, the tech ecosystem in Nigeria. Um, a lot of the key uh, achievements that we've had uh, during the EVC's very short two years, uh, we've done a lot of research and development with our projects. We've done a lot of uh, training. We've done some skills acquisitions and we've done um, a lot of reverse engineering. We've done a lot with drone, drone training, helicopter engineer and pilot training, um, especially in the area of uh, agro drones. We've done, done a lot of training on that. Uh, we've built some training facilities, which would definitely be of use to not just Naseni, but uh, all the different um, sectors that uh, get involved with aviation, uh, drone technology. Um, and I think that's really a big achievement for the two years that uh, he's been there. Uh, I've been involved with Naseni since 2013. Uh, and uh, what he has achieved within the last two years has been remarkable. Uh, he has moved the agency from just being a research agency to an agency now that is commercializing the research 
that they have done into products and services that we're seeing everywhere in here in Nigeria. And I'm sure within the next one or two years, most of these products will be seen in people's houses and uh, it will help us to cut our level on importation and then uh, uh, our issues with the foreign exchange in terms of uh, paying for our import bills. Our partnership has started a year and a half ago. In a year, in a year and a half ago, we were able to develop what was a dream before KSH coming to office. We are today producing full products in IVDs and molecular PCRs, end-to-end -end products from the molding of our plastics to the development of our protein to uh, um, the development of the product and the packaging and then the distribution. Today we can say that with the help of Naseni, Nigeria has a health independence in terms of rapid diagnostics, rapid test kits and IVDs. Partnership with Naseni as, as an organization have been able to grow scale and allow Pastov to replicate our model across new markets. Um, before Naseni coming into Pastov, we are just uh, a, a good national company that is doing work to be able to solve access to energy poverty. Uh, but after Naseni, we've grown beyond the shores of Nigeria. We are in six African countries. We've been able to replicate our model in 10 cities in Nigeria. Um, that is what Naseni have been able to do. And on the other hand, also working closely with the EVC also, he, you know, he's a man that also has a wealth of experience from the private sector. Um, his advices each time we meet, we met have also been able to help us to navigate the local challenges that uh, entrepreneurs face to be able to grow their, their manufacturing uh, business. In, in the past two years, working with Naseni, uh, Pastov can say that uh, improving our local market ecosystem, uh, allowing us to be able to become number one cook stove in Nigeria. I'd like to say a big congratulations to the EVC for completing two years, two very successful years uh, at his position. So I want to congratulate him for what he has done, not just in Naseni, but what he has done that has impacted positively here in Nigeria and also in the international community. Uh, he has become a household name, not just here in Nigeria, but with our international partners. All right. I want to say a big um, hearty congratulations to the EVC and uh, the CEO of Naseni. Uh, for the past two years, he has taken Naseni to an unprecedented level. Um, Nigerians now can appreciate what Naseni is all about. His triple C mantra is not just a word, it uh, is a, a policy document that he has trans transform transformed into an action. I'd like to uh, uh, give a very warm congratulations for the EVC, our Executive Vice Chairman, Honorable Khalil Halilu, for his two years in office as the EVC of Naseni. He has been able to transform Naseni into what we know of it today. He was the one who was able to make of this institution a proactive, solutions-driven institution and has proven himself in those two years with the number and the big number of projects that have been executed. Congratulations to Naseni and its partners and kudos to the new management of the agency under its dynamic and young leader, Mr. Khalil Suleiman Halil.